data dictionary vehicle details. We're now going to take a look at another data dictionary and this is another one for the road and maritime services, the RMS or the former known RTA, Road Traffic Authority, here in New South Wales and Australia. And basically this time this database will be used to register actual vehicles. So it needs information about all the vehicles within the state and store them in this database so it's on their records. So here we are with our template for our data dictionary once again with our six headings. So let's first take a look at the types of fields I think are going to exist within this database. So we have our vehicle ID and that vehicle ID will likely be the vehicle's number plate. Every single vehicle across the world has a number plate on it. The vehicle class, because vehicles are classified in different ways. The manufacturer, the company that made the vehicle. The model of the vehicle, so the actual type of vehicle it is. So it's a Toyota Camry or it's a, a Honda Civic. Okay, The type of actual version of that model that it is. Okay, So a Corolla can come in a sedan or a hatchback. The year the vehicle is made, and that's usually just judged by the specific year. It doesn't really go into month or day, so that will probably be a four-digit um, date. And then the color of the vehicle is usually kept on hand too, okay, is it blue, black, gray, whatever, okay. So as always with these databases, the ID field is our primary key. And as mentioned, that would be based on the vehicle's number plate. And that number plate isn't just used by the RMS now either, okay, there's now parking stations that read number plates. Um, obviously the police have number plates on records too when they're doing their... Um, speeding tickets so that there's a whole variety of areas that this ID would be used okay and we need to keep that in mind if we use this database in a relational model. Let's now look at the data types that are going to be used for this actual uh, database and basically they are all text every single one of them is a series of characters okay that will be used in order to make up the data of this database except the year okay the year obviously is going to be um, a date time because we're actually establishing when the vehicle was made okay but everything else I believe would be a text data type okay and that brings us over to our data format where we only have to really highlight the ones that aren't text except for the ID okay and the vehicle ID if you've looked at a number plate before is a series of numbers and characters such as letters okay so here you can see I've got NX 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 the N representing the numbers X representing the letters though it's not straight in that format it can be different combinations it could be three letters then three numbers or two letters two numbers and letters okay so the, there is no pattern even though I've displayed is that I've just shown it could be an even amount of letters okay in the way I've displayed that format and obviously with the date time all I've got is four Y's to represent the four digits of the year the car was manufactured We'll go over to the field size now. As I've illustrated with the vehicle ID, it's six characters in length, so the field size is six. Okay, the vehicle class here. Okay, now um, in a previous video, I talked about how drivers can have a class, and the, the longest one is learner, which uh, obviously is a four digit code. But with the actual vehicle class, uh, the biggest I can see is two characters based on my research once again, and I could be wrong depending on different countries. And that's like HV for heavy vehicle. Okay, so I've got the vehicle class as its field size is two. Manufacturer, because it's a name, it can be anything up to 15 characters. Okay, and that goes the same with the model and the type. Okay, they are all names. They're likely going to be less than 15 characters, but I've got to make sure that nothing's longer than 15 characters. Otherwise, it's not going to fit the character length into my database record. The year is once again another specific one. It is only going to be four digits in length. The year cannot be longer or shorter. Okay, so it must be a field size of four. And then the color is 10, okay, based on different color combinations, okay, and what the character length could be for naming different colors of cars. We'll describe all these fields here. So obviously in the vehicle ID, I've actually said it is the ID displayed on the number plate. Okay, the number plate of the car. Okay, that is how this car will be primarily identified. No other car in the state will have that same number plate. Okay, so it's unique and hence why it's our primary key. The vehicle class is the classification of the vehicle. Is it a car? Is it a truck? Okay, we need to know that. The manufacturer is the maker of the car, so Toyota. And the model is obviously the model of the car. Camry, Corolla, Kluger. Okay, they're all different brands of Toyotas. Okay, the type is the version of that car model. Okay, and all these cars do have different versions. Okay, the Kluger has a GX, and then the GXL, and a Grande model. Okay, so we need to know what type of model it is. 
the year is self-explanatory, the year the car was made, and then the color is the color of the car. And then finally, once again, with that example column, is the type of data we expect to see entered into the database and we can see as a guide. Okay, so there is an example of a number plate there and it's got a combination of letters and numbers, okay, all randomly uh, assorted within the ID. The vehicle class is just C to signify a car. Okay, the maker of the car, we can see Toyota, model, Corolla, version of the car, sedan. Okay, the year that was made, 2005, and the color is blue. So I hope this is a pretty straightforward and simple example of how we could create a data dictionary to, for a database that stores vehicle details that could be used by the RMS here in New South Wales.